again everyone, Scott Pyre, Pop Cult Fan here, and my new series of reviews for a franchise that I am going to do is not a series of movies, but actually a series of video games. I have thought a lot about this, and I honestly want to review every first main series Pokemon game of each generation, which includes Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon Gold and Silver, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon X and Y, and Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, the first games, Red and Blue, which originally came out in 1996, which um, I didn't play until after I played Gold and Silver. Um, Gold and Silver were actually the first Pokemon games I ever played, but after I played Gold and Silver, I got myself Red and Blue, played those games, and now I'm going to review Red and Blue. So what are my thoughts on the very first Pokemon games ever made? Well, it's, you know, it's uh, Kanto, you get all of your classic 151 Pokemon, with Mewtwo being the 151 Pokemon. Num uh, number of Pokemon in the Pokedex, and Mew, and all the other legendaries in Kanto. You got Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, all the legendaries, and of course the iconic starter Pokemon. And easily, I know um, Charmander is like the probably the most overrated starter out of the three in the first three in these games, but for me personally. Charizard is my number one favorite Pokemon, just mainly because of its, you know, how powerful looking it is. You know, it looks like a dragon, even though it's not, <laughs> and at least until, like, it gets its mega evolution in um, Pokemon X in Gen 6. But um, what I love about Red and Blue is that it takes place in Japan, in Kanto, you know, it's um, ba based on an actual region in Japan. And I also lo just love the music, you know, the music in the original Pokemon game, Red and Blue, is very nostalgic. And um, although um, in Japan, um, Pokemon Red and a green version were originally released in Japan, but in here in the U.S., they kind of redid... Um, um, a different version of green and made it into blue. So now in when it, when the games were released in America, they released Pokemon Red and Blue, and the mascots of those games are Charizard and Blastoise, as you as you see on the covers of the capture discs, or whatever the disc is called, or whatever it's called, game cartridge. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, Pokemon Red and Blue are the first Pokemon games. So you know it's. You know, it's not graphically impressive. You know, it's very, um, a, gener a generic 90s RPG, as you can say, in terms of graphics. Um, but of course, some of the most iconic characters in the anime were originally introduced in Red and Blue, which are Brock and Misty. Those characters, those are the first two gym leaders, and then all the other gym leaders in the game. You know, you got uh, Lieutenant Surge. You know the electric type, electric electric type gym leader. Then you've got, um, you know, all the other uh, gym leaders: Sabrina, the psychic gym leader, and Erica, the f the fourth gym leader who has the grass type Pokemon, and uh, the Fuchsia gym leader with Koga. He has poison type Pokemon, and then the seventh gym is Blaine with his fire types, and then. The last gym is the leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni. And also, of course, Giovanni, you know, Team Rocket, it's the OG criminal organization of uh, these games. You know, Team Rocket are Jesse and James in the anime for the most part. You barely see other Team Rocket members other than um, Butch and Cassidy in the anime. I'm talking about the anime. So if you see the anime, you th you know there are other Team Rocket characters in the anime, and there's only like one. I think there's only like a handful of episodes in the original series of the anime that actually shows the actual team from the games. Like I think there's like this Magikarp um, shipwreck episode of that actually shows the actual Team Rocket members from the game, but in the anime, 
mostly you only see Jesse and James 100% of the time in every series of the anime. So that's what Team Rocket is known for in the anime. But in the games, it's the you know the Team Rocket members. You know their black outfits with the R on their chest. You know the OG team of criminal organizations, and you know just from the music to um, catching Pokemon, training them, and all of that in these first games are, are, are became a staple of every other single Pokemon game in the main series of games. And yeah, that's my review for Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, for um, for these video game reviews, I'm probably going to do a more of a percentage kind of rating. So I would probably give this one... Uh, I'd probably give the original Pokemon games, Red and Blue, uh, 85%. That is my percentage um, rating of the original games. They're not my favorite um, Gold and Silver are actually my favorite games. I will recover. I will cover those games in my next video. So that is my review for the very first Pokemon games that were ever made. And funny enough, you know, um, when these games were announced, when Red and Blue were originally announced, that was actually, I think that may have actually been in 1994. But the games were in development in 1995. So every time I play a new Pokemon game. There's always that 1995 to the the year that this current game is released. It's been like that for every other for every single Pokemon game that's ever come out for the handheld or the console, you know, GameCube um, and uh, Game Boy, all, you know, all that. You know, every single Nintendo system has always shown every new Pokemon game with the year that it started out, which was 1995, and that was the year I was born. So literally, I was born to play Pokemon, and it became a childhood, just entirely, and even up to now, I play Pokemon all the time. I play the new games quite a bit, you know, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and you know, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are remakes of Pokemon Yellow, the enhanced version of Red and Blue. So yeah, that's that's crazy how much the franchise has evolved ever since Red and Blue came out. It's astonishing to me. And even with the release of Pokemon Go a few years ago, that game just completely blew it. You know, it became global. It just it became so su successful, and it's just amazing to me just how popular Pokemon as a franchise has become because I. I grew up with it, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a series of video games that I've always played, you know, I've always learned new things, like even new words that I never heard of before, I heard from po playing Pokemon games, like the term of Vitenage, uh, Vitenage, which is actually a term that was in one of the spin-off games, Pokemon Ranger, um, there's just so much from Pokemon games that I've learned growing up and even now that I've learned new um, words and all that just it's amazing to me how far this franchise has come and I've looked it up on Wikipedia and Pokemon is actually the highest grossing multimedia franchise like even more than Star Wars and that's amazing to me it's just it's amazing how big this franchise is now and it's only going to get bigger, you know, just with the release of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and there's even more anime movies coming out, you know, um, there's a new Pokemon anime movie coming out this, this, uh, fall, I think, I forget what it's called, but they're also doing another anime movie also coming out next year, as well as a live-action movie, Detective Pikachu, uh, I don't want to talk too much about that, but it's based on an, uh, a video game called Detective Pikachu, I don't want to talk too much about that here, but yeah, Pokemon Red and Blue just blew up and became so successful. It became a multimedia franchise. Anything you can think of in terms of merchandise with Pokemon, that's there's every everything you can think of for that in merchandise has Pokemon on it. Like there's even Pokemon tattoos that I see people get, especially my sister. <laughs> she has like a Clefairy tattoo right here on her chest. But yeah. Uh, Pokemon is just my favorite video game franchise. So, yeah, that is my review and my 
thoughts on the franchise as a whole. So thank you all so much for watching. And next time I will review the sequels, Golden Silver, in my next video. Peace.